Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Dr. Terence Drew presented a $1.02 billion budget in Wednesday's presentation of the annual financial statement and budgetary proposals for 2023, held at the St. Kitts Marriott Resort Ballroom. I will go through now, Madam Speaker, Governor General, $1,933,990. Parliament, $2.1 million. Audit Office, $1.5 million. Justice and Legal Affairs, $14.1 million. Prime Minister's Office, $100 million. National Security, Citizenship and Immigration, $98 million. International Trade, Industry, Commerce and Consumer Affairs, $6.3 million. Finance, $307 million. Social Development and Gender Affairs, 43.2 million. Agriculture, fisheries, marine resources and cooperatives, 25.1 million. Tourism, civil aviation, and international transport, 44.5 million. Public infrastructure, energy, utilities, and domestic transport, 63.6 million. Education, 111 million eight hundred and fifty seven thousand and seventy four health and social security ninety three million eight hundred and eighty nine thousand four hundred and sixty five sports and the creative economy nineteen point one million sustainable development fifteen point five million foreign affairs twenty point two million office of the attorney general thirteen point one million Employment and labor, 6.3 million. He housing, human settlement, ecclesiastic affairs, and faith based affairs, 6.7 million. Environment, climate action, and constituency empowerment, 8.5 million. Information, communication, technology, and posts, 13.4 million. Youth empowerment, Aging and disability, 2.4 million. Economic development and investment, 2.6 million. Small business and entrepreneurship, 1.2 million. Total expenditure, therefore, 1 billion, 24 million, 637,301. Madam Speaker, the proposed allocations would allow the line ministries to undertake their critical roles as we chart a new trajectory, trajectory for growth and development. The Appropriation 2023 Bill 2022, commonly referred to as the Budget Address, was presented under the theme Towards Our Transformation as a Sustainable Small Island State. We'll have more from the Prime Minister's presentation in future news reports. The sitting of the National Assembly will continue from Thursday, December 15th, at the National Assembly Chamber's Government Headquarters, Bastyr. I'm Audrey Huey for SKN Newsline.